What's up everyone, my name is Biku and I am in my garage, no Lamborghini unfortunately, um, but I thought I would post a little bit of a update or just a general product project that I've been working on for a little while. Um, as you know, I've got a mini CNC milling machine and you'll notice this on it now which if you've watched my other video about it you would have noticed that wasn't there last time sorry if the camera's shaky i'm just hand holding it and what this is is a coolant slash mister slash um air blower to blow on parts for whatever you're doing and the reason i did this is because i find myself mainly cutting aluminium you can see piece in there i do cut plastics i do cut wood but mainly it's aluminium but I was finding that I was holding uh, coolant in one hand and spraying air with the other hand. And that got kind of annoying and my hands got greasy very quickly. And it doesn't take very long for the tip of the nozzle to be burned into your fingertip. So what I decided to do was, this was just lock line tubing. I'll get to that little finger sent at the end. Just normal lock line tubing. And then I machined out this bracket, which is basically just a tube and then a pneumatic fitting. It's pneumatic, well, it's pneumatic and coolant's going through it up there, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. Then over here, got a coolant bottle that's attached to the wall and it can unscrew and I can put coolants in it. And then up here is a pressure regulator. I've got it only set to around one bar, which is or well, no, half a bar, which is about 10 PSI. It's really not that much, but it's all you really need. And there's two outs. And what happens is this, and you can close the outputs in the video. I'm sorry if the 3D printer, if, if you can't really hear me with the 3D printer in the background. Anyway, this out goes to the main tube for the lock line. And then this is, and if you've guessed already, well done, clap on the, well, lock line whatever this is a venturi venturi creates a vacuum this is the vacuum for the venturi which goes to an input there's a funnel or there's a tube that goes all the way down to the bottom to pump tubing through pump tubing through pump tubing through so what that allows me to do is i can place it there on well there would be a cutter here but anyway place it on the part blow air and there'll be a very fine mist of uh, coolant that comes out and that's good for aluminium um, just to evacuate the chips and give it a little bit of coolant but if I really wanted to or needed to like I was cutting steel and I needed flood coolant flood coolant what I can do is plug this where'd it go there we go plug that into there which pressurizes this and there's no tube on the other end pressurizes this which basically means coolant will come pissing out of there which is good i haven't needed to use that yet but if i need to i can and then obviously i can disconnect that if i just want straight air so yeah oh, and one other little thing i haven't done this one yet but i've made just a little sort of shroud out of um, just polycarbonate. I just heated it up with a hot air gun and bent it over. And that goes there to protect shit from flying onto the motor. I haven't done one from for this yet because I don't have a big enough piece of polycarbonate. Well, no, sorry, I lie. I've got a giant sheet of polycarbonate, but I don't want to use that because that's for something else that I'm going to do. And just in case you're curious, I'm printing a Benchy, as you do. Oh, and completely forgot about this as well. There's a computer underneath the milling machine and there's holes in the milling machine so what happens when you get flood coolant going onto it well it flows into the computer bad things happen since it is a oil and water based coolant so what we did was this is a handmade me and my father mainly my father but i helped this is galvanized steel which we bent up, ran wire around the outside, bent it over and crimped it so that it's very stiff. This is incredibly stiff. Drilled holes, and then you can't really see because it's black, but there's silicon there to seal the holes where the bolts go through. And then there's a little drain port out there which will go to a bucket or something. And yeah, that is basically 
allowed us to do more with it because previously man, shit would get everywhere and it's kind of annoying um only real thing that's left to do is to put up uh guards so either wood or perspex or metal guards um not so much well obviously for safety but not so much for that as to keep chips from flying everywhere i mean i've got a 3d printer right there if i'm cutting wood or plastic where it where chips fly the bed gets covered and i basically can't use it anytime i want to use this um so that'll help with that still some stuff that needs to be figured out with this because it overhangs but eh, that's that's something to get through to get to in the future so i hope you like this little video it, just kind of an update I thought I'd do quickly. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of installing this since, eh, I don't know, I, 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 have a, I have a problem with as soon as I'm done with something, then I think to record it, but anyway. So thanks for watching this video and goodbye.